We begin with the breaking news, the all-out search, and the growing concern as we come on the air after an American military helicopter lost all contact. Among those on board the chopper, much like this one here, six U.S. Marines, a team scrambling to help after this newest earthquake in Nepal. And tonight here, new images of the 7.3 quake the moment it hits a landslide hurling toward this village. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off with the search for that American chopper and the massive rescue effort tonight on the ground in Nepal. Tonight, the urgent hunt for the missing Marine Corps Huey helicopter, one of three seen in Pentagon video released just yesterday, flying over the same area of Nepal where it disappeared today. The deliveries of rice and tarps to these remote villages, one of the most rewarding missions possible for the military. After this morning's quake, the helicopter carrying six Marines and two Nepalese once again headed out to help. And somewhere over this battered landscape, it vanished. No communications, no signal from the emergency beacon detected. Three Osprey aircraft launched a search but came up with nothing. The missing Marines among 300 American military personnel now working in Nepal. Dozens of them gathered when the aftershock struck, birds wildly circling overhead. High in the mountains, rock slides tumbling towards the villages below. It shook the entire mountainside. It was one of the scariest things that I've ever experienced in my entire life. Nearby, this mother wails learning her six-year-old is gone. <laughs> this country living a nightmare. 8,000 killed in the monster quake last month, at least 37 killed today. The search for survivors begins anew. This young woman showing rescuers where someone could be trapped after she watched the house collapse before her eyes. Just incredible that these families are going through this all over again. As you said, Martha, the death toll, 8,000 just from the first earthquake and, and now this. Tonight, what do we know? When will they begin search efforts again for the American helicopter missing? Well, it is the middle of the night there now, David, which makes a search far more difficult. So it will resume again at daybreak. Martha Raddatz leading us off tonight. Martha, thank you.